I have never seen such an obedient girl. She will do whatever she is told. When my sister asked her to shut up, the girl immediately put her hand on her tongue. The soldier told her not to move. She stopped in midair. It was as if the girl was under a spell. But it's not magic. It's a curse. Annie was born into a magical family. Because she cried all the time, the fairy gave her the talent of obedience. When Annie was put to sleep, she would close her eyes. She would wake up instantly when she yelled, wake up. Her mother no longer had to worry about Annie being naughty. From then on, Annie began to obey everyone unconditionally. At school, she argued with a classmate. The other person said, bite me. She then bit the person's arm. I've never heard such a strange request before. Her mother made Annie go downstairs to study. Although she was very reluctant, but her body could not control and immediately came downstairs. Gradually, Annie became an adult. She felt it was time for her to do something adult. Just as she turned the corner, she was knocked down by a man and dragged to a small corner. After the group of men had run away, the man explained to Annie, he's a prince and he's running from a chase. He said narcissistically, Annie must not be moved by this. After the prince says this, Annie looks disgusted and she turns her head to leave. Because Annie was obedient, she began to hate the prince. The more indifferent Annie is, the more the prince likes her. Annie wanted to run away quickly, but the prince inadvertently ordered, Love me. Don't go. Annie was frouncing in place. Just then a carriage rushed uh, by. Uh, by and Annie was almost hurt. She hated this curse more and more. Her sister often teases her and asks Annie to steal the crystal shoes. Annie's body was out of control and started to move. She pulled her right hand with her left hand but still couldn't disobey the order. She stuffed the crystal shoes into her bag in front of the guards. Annie is forced to make trouble outside and is lectured by her stepmother when she returns home. Stepmother asks Annie to break up with her best friend. Annie is fed up with this curse because too much obedience will only be used. So she takes her fairy tale book with her and follows its instructions. She started to find a way to break it. This is definitely a beautiful woman that all men can only dream of. She is very obedient. She will do anything the bad guy tells her to do. Ask her to twist and dance. She can't refuse. When you meet such an obedient girl, what will you ask her to do? To break the obedience curse. Annie went to the forest. She found humans bullying elves. She tried to help, but the man laughed at her. Do you know Kung Fu? Obedient Annie immediately, mastering Kung Fu, kicked the man, then threw a punch and knocked him out. <laughs> The bad guy was scared away and Annie managed to save the genie. The genie wanted to repay her. It decided to help Annie and find a way to lift the obedience curse. Suddenly, some blue giants came around. They hadn't eaten for days and were starving. Their mouths were chanting, I want to have a good meal. When Annie heard them, she stepped into the pot. Just when she was about to be cooked, the prince arrived in time. The blue giant was beaten to death. Through this heroic rescue, the relationship between the prince and Annie began to become close. They followed the clues to the land of giants. They asked the giant how to lift the curse. Instead, they asked Annie to dance and tell them the solution afterwards. But Annie couldn't do it. The giants demanded to dance. Annie couldn't control her body and started dancing. And as she danced, she jumped into the prince's arms. Annie understands that the way to lift the curse is love. The next day, the two returned to the castle together. Here they met the prince's uncle. The uncle took him to the small room. The uncle found out that the curse was not completely lifted from her. So he took out a dagger and ordered him to assassinate the prince tonight. So that he can become the next king. Annie's body could not resist. After accepting the dagger, her uncle also ordered her not to tell anyone about it. And to ask the elves for help, she was tied to a tree with chains and could not be untied until after tonight. But would this really work? This girl was crazy to tie herself to a tree. She was so strong that she almost uprooted the tree. At that moment, a person fell from the sky. Annie was stunned. This person was a fairy. Eighteen years ago, she cast a curse on Annie and turned her into the most obedient girl. She caused Annie to tie herself to a tree. She asked the fairy to lift the curse, but she wouldn't do it. She waved her hand and unlocked the lock. She changed Annie into a white dress and sent her to the prince's ball. Then she said to Anne, Seize the opportunity and go on a date with the prince and drag the dinner table to the ball. Not long before, her uncle had ordered and to assassinate the prince at 12 o'clock tonight. So Annie tries to stay away from him by all means. The two of them go to the roof of the building, which is a good place to propose. The prince gets down on one knee and pulls out his diamond ring. The clock strikes 12. Annie cried and said, I want to marry you. They hugged each other, crying not from happiness but from pain, and picks up the dagger and aims it at the prince. She forces herself not to do it, but the prince saw this scene and failed in the assassination and was put in the dungeon. Couldn't anyone help her? The next day the genie learns that Anne has been arrested and imprisoned. With her companions, 
She infiltrated the palace and carried out a rescue plan. The elf succeeded in getting Annie out of the dungeon. Then he went to the prince to reveal his uncle's plot to kill him. The uncle sent his troops. A big war was about to break out. The prince threw away his clothes, grabbed guards longsword and joined the battle. In the confusion, he found Anne and asked her what happened. As he fought, he listened to her and explained everything. The uncle confessed. He was the best man for the king. The prince was just an ornament. He took the crown and put it on himself, but he forgets that he had a sword in the crown himself. The story ends well, and, and the prince live happily ever after, and also curses and is no longer a good girl.